Another thing is as you just walk around the shop, you would see my uh, the small VMCs, which happens to be the largest and the most popular machine from Haas. We have multiple solutions on them. Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC. I am in India and I'm so excited to be with my buddy Naveen, a friend of mine for many, many years. And we are in Bangalore. And today the key topic is turnkey systems and the importance of turnkey when trying to help our customers create something where as soon as we start, as soon as we put a machine on the floor, that project is running straight away, taking any downtime from you. But as you guys know, I always bring the experts with me. I say that all the time. This is the expert, Naveen. Thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you, thank you for uh, traveling all the way over to Bangalore. Oh, you know it's my pleasure to come to India and especially to Bangalore to see you. So let's talk about the importance of turnkey because you have a brand new, beautiful facility here in Bangalore. I believe it's four stories. The roof is amazing. But one of the standout points is this turnkey center we're standing out right now. Why did you create a turnkey center for your customers? Well, uh, to be very precise, uh, we wanted to be, we wanted to just add value to the equipment what we uh, supply. Uh, as far as Haas is concerned, uh, the VF2s and the, uh, the small mills happen to be the biggest uh, biggest seller for us and also happens to be one of the best successful machines for us. So we just wanted to take it up one step higher that we, when we go to a customer or when any customer walks in with a particular part or with a drawing or a model or something that he visualizes, we want to turn it into reality and probably want to make a part and probably even the main solution, the, we want to give a solution to the customer. So in case new drawings, new projects for which they want, they want the manufacturer to also support them with uh, the turnkey solution. So in this case, in this scenario, we have uh, developed an in-house turnkey center where we have machines in-house with the turnkey setup available, zero point clamping systems, five axis. So basically, we, when the customer comes in with a part, our solution is to give an ins, uh, inspected part back to him in 72 hours. And so, to me, that's an incredibly quick time. And for those guys of you here in India that don't truly understand the importance of turnkey, talking with Naveen today, knowing what turnkey is from other interviews, imagine that you have a project that you're not sure is going to work, right? And yet, Naveen's going to grab that project, make sure it's proven, so the moment that machine hits your shop floor, you're up and running. You don't have to do any tests on your own. He's made sure that project is supported and proven before it hits the floor, whether it be work holding, cutting tools, the machine itself. That's kind of the purpose, right? So that your uh, customers can get moving straight away. Exactly. It's not just the work holding, the tooling, the cutting. It's in, it includes the process, the and starting from engineering, the process, and then uh, developing the program and optimizing the program for uh, commercial production use. That is, that is the turnkey solution what we kind of envisage to deliver out of uh, the setup here. So we have customers from all over uh, our region generally come up with new drawings or probably something that uh, they give us a, a program of their own, they want to test it on our machines. I mean like we go one step higher, why do you just want to test a dry run? You just press cut a part. You have, the, the part will tell you the whole story, right? So that is something that we kind of drive out of this uh, technical center or uh, here. Before the offering of a turnkey center, a lot of times I would find, at least throughout my ages of, of machining, you know, a couple of decades ago at this point, I would find these go, well, it's got to work. Trust me. You know, one of those types of things, right? But we can come to Haas now, here men of in Bangalore, we can come to you with our prints, look at these machines and say, I need you to support me on this project because I have thousand of them or 500 of them or 100 or whatever it might be and again it goes back to really making that customer money right away that machine as soon as it arrives it's going to start making them money which is what we need to do well it uh, it works both ways to be very precise is from a manufacturer's perspective or from a, a machine distributor's perspective perspective we are true and we have a clear vision of what the customer expects out of the part what the machine can tell what the machines are going to deliver, how the process is set up, how the fixturing is set up, the whole, how the whole thing is set up. 
and from the customer's perspective it's he's very clear on what he can expect out of the machine so everything is set right there before the equipment hits the floor and we do one step we do one thing more than this for the customer also we tell the customers that guys if you have an operator if you have your own uh, team we are happy to train them we'll train them at our facility before your machines come to your hit your production floor so in this way so as a machine shop owner you are very clear on the guys who are guys know the process guys know the machines so that there are not a, there are not a lot of surprises when it comes to this uh, the solution as per se because otherwise if if you're going to go and just shoot off the dart i mean like it's you'll have a end, end up having surprises for both you and the customer as well so that this eliminates the entire uh, process also and whatever the learning curve is there it's already stabilized by the time you start running your production I think you nailed that. When you brought that full circle, talk about we're going to train you on the on the program itself. We're going to train you on the machine itself. And you guys have been doing this for a while. Manov was the one that brought first brought Haas into India, and that machine is still running, isn't it? So you've been yeah. preparing this for a long time. Yeah, uh, we have been partnered partnering with Haas since 1992, and. Uh, in fact the first haas machines were sold in uh, bangalore in uh, i think somewhere in 1994 the machines are still working uh, so what we envisage and what we de- what we want to deliver to the customer is a complete solution a complete trust and a, a product that will last them and probably they will be able to get what they expect out of the product so we also know from previous relationship about a company called Air Turbine, right? You and I have talked about that a little bit. That's but true. What does Air Turbine do for your customers in Turkey Center as well? Well, uh, we have a few Air Turbine spindles available from right from 40,000 RPM to 60,000 RPMs. We have come across customers with applications with 1 mm tools or 0.5 mm tools which require to be run at a very high RPM. And probably the spindles will not be able to feed that RPM. So we have those air turbine spindles working set up here, so the customers can even try that out on the the VMCs, the Haas VMCs, and they can see the whole part uh, cut with the machine, with the regular tools and the air turbine spind, air turbine tools. We had a customer uh, trying to cut two halves of the part with one with the air turbine spindle and see the cycle time and the finish another one with the regular spindle to see the cycle time and finish and see the justification whether to go with the air turbine spindle or just to go with this uh, standard mill spindle is because there's something that's to be understood that this is an additional attachment to the machine it's not as rigid as the original spindle is so this is something that can be tried out here at the tech at the application center or at the turnkey center before you eventually go in with the whole solution. A question that used to come up when I uh, in a previous lifetime doing working with air turbine often that I'd like for you to convey to the audience as well is when we look at these Haas machines we're looking at 10k, 15k. So the air spindle accessory when it goes in, that main machine spindle of 10k or 15k is actually locked into place, right? And it's just air that powers the air spindle itself exactly. to go from 25,000 to 90,000, but not necessarily adjust where you pick a speed and it's going that speed, right? But the main machine spindle, you're actually saving the life of that main machine spindle when utilizing the small diameter tools, right? Well, exactly. See, when it comes to cutting say tool steel you're going to cut tool steel and you're going to do finishing with a 1 mm cutter or a 0.5 mm cutter so your spindle will not be able to and the the cutter will require to be run at uh, 40000 rpm or 45000 rpm for it to be effectively deliver the finish and the and possibly the uh, the finish aspect especially so what happens is it is these spindles will not the, uh, the standard vmc spindles will not be able to deliver that rpm so we have this additional attachment so this can be run and this cannot it's it's for the one off applications like right? you have one tool that requires this rpm you don't need to buy a spindle with 60 70000 70, rpm which is going to cost a lot of money the machine itself is going to be very expensive when you go for something like that you just need one tool or a couple of tools with this rpm well you can come into our tech center you can try the spindle 
on our existing 10,000 RPM spindles or even the 15,000 RPM spindles. And I'm sure that definitely it should be able to, it will be justifying your justifying the investment. When we get into those small diameters like you mentioned, if the RPM isn't there, we're moving like this. If it was conversation, right? It's just uh, yes. we gotta move so slow not to break them in that material. And that's what that RPM is for, for that finish, for those faster cycle times. And ultimately, isn't that what you're trying to reach here at Manov is those faster cycle times to get that lower price per part so everyone can create success? Exactly. See, uh, predominantly, it's a B2B business. So customers are buying equipment for uh, making parts and selling them to their customers. They need to be competitive, competent enough or cost effective enough to compete in this uh, machining world. So that is exactly what we are trying to do. We are trying to uh, help you guys, help the customers to be very competitive in the product what they deliver. The complete solution, complete trust, 1992, machine still running, training you on the machines themselves, in their training center, and making sure that your parts are running from the day it hits the floor, from whether it be 72 hours, a little shorter, a little longer, but making sure that you're taken care of. That's Naveen, that's Man of Marketing. This is an incredible story, and I congratulate you on the growth of what you've done in this Thank new you. building here. And uh, another thing is, as you just walk around the shop, you would see my uh, the small VMCs, which happens to be the largest and the most popular machine from Haas. We have multiple solutions on them. We have five axis trunium on them. We have four axis with zero point clamping systems. We have machines with 15,000 RPM. We have the machines with a through coolant. So a variety of applications can be tried out before it reaches the customer. Right from, we have tried from plastic, from Delrin, aluminum, stainless steel, Inconel, Invar, Monel. Somebody tried to cut wood, but uh, that was a different story with the dust flying all around. But this is the whole, uh, whole synopsis. So basically, you can come in with any material that is machinable on the small VMC footprint, and we'll be happy to uh, get it done for you.